Well, guess what guys, we are selling the Tacoma. I really don't want to do this, but I kind of need the money for my bills. These bills are getting expensive, mainly the FJ. So the Tacoma's got to go, like I said, kind of a sad moment. I got a few people interested in it, so we got to get it cleaned up. I'm going to go through, wash it, pull the floor mats out, clean those up. There's a couple things we do have to fix on the truck. Little minor details like the viscous cooling fan on the engine. I have two fans. One is electronic for the AC. The other one is a mechanical fan just for the engine. That fan doesn't seem to be working, so I got a new clutch in for that. We're going to swap that out. Uh, one of the HVAC bulbs, like I said, just little tiny stuff. One of the HVAC HVAC bulbs kind of goes on and off so I've tried swapping that actually twice now with just like a Napa style bulb but they don't fit that great so I bought an OEM bulb we have swapped that out I want to go through and give this thing one last polish one last wax and get this thing looking as good as we can All right, one good way to see if these are bad is how they spin. Now this one isn't super terrible, but I never could get it, even when it was super hot out or even at first startup, this fan would never uh, like actually engage. And if it kind of freewheels, then you know it's bad. And when it was on with the fan on and everything with a little bit more weight, it definitely free spun. Whereas this one, it's way tighter. So I do, I do still think this thing is bad, but that is one good way to see if they are bad. It should have some resistance when you're trying to spin the thing. If it freewheels, or if it, I guess if it spins lighter like this one, they, uh, they go bad. Well, I think this fan works. I can actually feel air moving. Before, I couldn't really feel anything. I know it was spinning, but it obviously wasn't engaged. And just looking at it, it looks like it spins way faster. And just out of idle, I can feel the air moving. So, I think that fan is good.
before we get started, let's go through what we are using real quick. Now, I recently, well, not recently, but a couple years ago, I bought the Rupaz. This is a dual action polisher or buffer. This thing is seriously a game changer. It cuts so fast and it doesn't leave swirl marks all over your paint. Now they come with this, when you buy this, at least the one I bought came with the kit for the pads and polishes as well. So there's three different steps basically. There's the coarse, the fine, and then the ultra fine with the corresponding compounds as well. So you got blue, yellow, white. So just because this thing is honestly in really good shape still, I am going to go through the yellow. Uh, I've never, I, I've done the white, but I didn't notice a huge difference. The yellow finishes it off so well. There's no swirls, there's no nothing in it. I don't really see a reason to do that maybe on something super high-end or a really really dark black you might notice it but on this green with the yellow pad it looks amazing so we're not gonna use that that's for like heavy scratches like if you were to go through and color sand the whole thing that'll take out like sand scratches and then you'll move to this and then to finish it off when we're all done we're gonna use this Cerakote paint sealant this is a actually a ceramic based coating this stuff works amazing I've had this coated for probably Probably about a year now I've done all of my other cars with it and it works really good the good thing is you can get this stuff on Amazon I think this bottle is 20 bucks it's still about half full and I think I've waxed this one twice and I think two other of my vehicles I've done I still got half a bottle this stuff is dirt cheap and it really does work amazing so that being said let's get the yellow out let's go through give us thing a quick polish and then we'll give it the another coat of the rapid ceramic oh one thing real quick before we do that just on application this stuff all you do it's a spray bottle so you just spray it on you just do a light mist over the panel I like to do one panel at a time but all you do is spray it on wipe it off it's that easy and I think you got to wait a few hours before you really want to get it wet Well guys, we are heading out of here. We are gonna go meet the new buyer at the airport. We're gonna pick him up. We're gonna go do our deal now. He is actually from Arizona, so he's planning on driving the truck back, but he's gotta go to work to Ohio, I think, for the rest of the month. So he's planning on coming here, buying the truck, and then I'm gonna store it for him until he can make it back out here, and then he's gonna come pick it up. So let's get out of here, go meet this guy, and see if he actually wants a truck.
Thank you, thank you. Dude, thanks for this opportunity, man. Yeah, for sure. It's cool to meet you. Yeah, you too. Um, the lights that you did, do they run, can you run them um, like the amber halos? Uh, yeah, they're a switchback. So I have it hooked up okay. to the amber, is hooked up to the blinker. And then okay. uh, it's white or amber, the white just hooked up to the, uh, the running lights. But you can switch it if you want. <laughs> it's amazing, dude. When did you first learn to paint? Uh, I don't know. I kind of, I mean, I've been doing this shit forever, kind of half ass. But. I wouldn't call it a half ass pinch. It looks pretty damn Oh, good. this one, yeah, this one turned out pretty good. I spent so much time on it, though. It's so weird to hear that noise come yeah, out of this truck. This way. <laughs> Years, uh, what year is your truck? 97. Okay. Well guys, I made it back home. So this guy is going to work, like I said, for like three weeks and then he's gonna fly back out here and I will catch up with you guys once he gets back into town. We'll bring him the truck and we'll say our goodbyes to this thing. Kind of sad to see her go, but you know what? I think it's time. I got a lot of cool plans for the channel, for the shop, for vehicles that I could use this money for. Well guys, today is the day. Parley, the guy that's buying the truck, is flying in in an hour. So we gotta run down to the airport. I'm just gonna meet him there bring him the truck and he can take off straight from the airport. But you know what, let's actually, I got an oil change kit that I bought for the truck. I just changed oil, but we got to, uh, I got an extra one, so let's give that to him. Thanks for storing it for a month. Yeah, no problem. Oh, your uh, girlfriend? She gets in in about two hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like was in Ohio. Yeah, you got straight from Ohio. And she's in Arizona. So yeah, we're gonna drive to Portland tomorrow. Then we're gonna go to Seaside. We're just gonna take PCH all the way down. Oh yeah. But that drive's gonna be sweet. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
how far a drive is it? So we'll do like five and a half hours tomorrow. Yeah. We'll do six hours the next day. We'll do six hours the next day, and then we'll do six hours on the like four or five days. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe we'll trip maybe, out of it. Maybe it'll take longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw around for a while. All right, man. Take care. Thanks. Driver safe. Don't, uh, rig. don't call me in the month and say you're active. That'd be that's that's honestly like my worst fear is somebody hitting me. All the time, even in my truck, I'm like, I can't replace this. Exactly. Cool. Have fun over there. Yeah. Yeah. See you. Guys. See ya. See ya. Good luck. My well, guys made it back home, truck is gone for good. So he is taking it back to Arizona from Washington State here. So probably like a 24 hour drive. Hopefully it doesn't have any issues. I mean, I've been driving the truck for over a year now and you guys know I haven't had a single issue with that thing. It's been perfect. So I'm confident it's gonna make it no issue. Well guys, I am gonna wrap this one up here. I want you to go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.